What's up everyone and welcome back to the MMA Zone. Today, let's get started with Justin Gagey goes off on Conor McGregor. As former two division UFC champion Conor McGregor gears up to make his highly anticipated return to the octagon later this year, the fight community has continued to remain divided on his comeback. On one hand, many feel as though McGregor is well into the twilight years of his career and as a result, should stay on the sidelines unless he's ready to truly commit to MMA like he did early on in his career. On the other hand, many believe that McGregor agreeing to coach the Ultimate Fighter shows that he's ready to commit to fully immersing himself back into the sport. In addition, the fight community had been keeping a close eye on who McGregor would accept as an opponent for his first fight back. While there was speculation that McGregor could agree to fight Tony Ferguson, his agreement to fight Chandler proved to many that he's not just looking to come back for an easy win. As we await news on when the fight could take place, top-ranked lightweight Justin Gagey weighed in on the fight, taking aim at Conor McGregor, saying, That makes perfect sense. Uh, that man only fights people I beat, so uh, what else? As many have pointed out, that isn't factually correct, given that Gagey, of course, lost to Dustin Poirier. Once the quote made the rounds on social media, McGregor caught wind and decided to have a laugh at Gagey's expense as he retweeted footage of Gagey swinging and missing against Charles Oliveira last year, sending himself flying to the canvas. For his part, Conor McGregor is feeling incredibly enthusiastic about his return. This week, he spoke on video outside of his Black Forge Inn about the return and his plans for the future, saying, forward with, looking forward with. Feel good, feel energetic, feel ready. You know, I'm throwing up. I'm throwing up my high kicks faster than I'm throwing up my jab, so I'm very excited to get back, alright? Uh, when do you get to Vegas? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. With no date set for the upcoming season of The Ultimate Fighter and McGregor not even in the USADA testing pool yet, fans will continue to anxiously await news regarding when the fight will take place. When he returns, how do you see things playing out between McGregor and Michael Chandler? Drop your predictions in the comments section below. Alexander Volkanovsky wants immediate rematch with Islam Makachev. UFC featherweight champion Alexander Volkanovsky put on an absolute show in the UFC 284 main event as he and Islam Makachev put on a spectacular fight of the year contender as they battled it out for five rounds. After walking away from the fight feeling confident that he had won, Volkanovsky has now begun to seek out a rematch with Makachev. According to the featherweight champion, Makachev felt as though he lost the fight before the judges' scorecards were read. He spoke on the MMA Hour this week in the wake of his loss, saying, Yeah, 100%. So yeah, he's already talked Yeah, he's already talked to the press, already talked to the media that he's happy to do. I feel like I got told that he was uh, talking to that. Um, was it, he went back to his corner because before the... Yeah, before they announced, yeah, that was it. Before they announced uh, who the winner was, obviously, you know, it was a close fight. I think they, he thought he might have lost. So uh, he was like even saying we need to do a rematch to his corner when he went back. So uh, uh, back to his corner, right? Because he right. thought, you know, I think, I think I've lost. He didn't say he lost, but I mean, he thought like we need to do the rematch. We need to do the rematch thinking that he was, I was going to get my hand raised. Joe Rogan similarly thought that Makachev looked as though he lost prior to the reading of the judge's decision. On his Fight Companion podcast, Rogan said, based on the look of Makachev's face, it was evident he knew he lost. Do you want to see the two run it back for a rematch? Drop your thoughts in the comments section below. Matt Brown predicts Conor McGregor could retire with a loss. In recent years, Conor McGregor has struggled. Since returning after his 2018 loss to Khabib Nurmagomedov, McGregor has gone just 1-2, and two, defeating Donald Cerrone in a lopsided welterweight showdown in 2020, before then being TKO'd by Poirier almost exactly a year later. Although McGregor sought a quick turnaround by fighting that summer, he suffered a gruesome leg injury in the first round that has sidelined him for a year and a half now. With his return fight against Michael Chandler on the horizon, many are wondering what a loss at this stage of his career would mean for McGregor. During a recent podcast, UFC veteran Matt Brown spoke about the Irish superstar's return and what a loss to Chandler would mean for him. I couldn't agree more. I have a hard time seeing him fighting again if he comes back and loses, especially a bad loss like that. Uh, like you said, he's just not the type of guy, guy to, uh, he doesn't have any reason to, right? Like he's coming back because he loves fighting and he wants to put on a show and wants to, um, you know, wants to be a champion again, I'm sure, right? So, yeah, I, I can't imagine him having the motivation to fight again if he comes back and gets knocked out by Michael Chandler. Do you think that a loss would spell the end of Conor McGregor's career? Drop your thoughts in the comments section down below. Before we continue, make sure you give that like button some love and be sure to subscribe to the MMA Zone for all of the latest news. 
Israel Adesanya's live reaction to Volkanovski vs. Makachev fight. Given the long-standing friendship between Israel Adesanya and Alexander Volkanovski, it was no surprise that the former middleweight champion was cage-side to see the featherweight champion take on Islam Makachev in Perth. After a back-and-forth fight, Volkanovski began to get the better of the lightweight champion in the fifth round, finishing the round with momentum on his side. Cage side footage of Adesanya in the moments shows fans the roller coaster of emotions he went through watching things play out in real time. Oh my god, come on, pass out. Good, now keep the hips away, keep the hips away. Right, 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 right. Who's the small guy? Who's the small guy? Come on, Volk. Who's the small man now? Who's the, who's the small man now? As Volkanovski proved throughout the fight, despite being the smaller man, he had no problems keeping up with the grappling exchanges. Time and time again, he managed to both hold his own and, in some instances, even get the better of the exchanges, despite being severely undersized, all thanks to Craig Jones' help in preparing for Makachev's grappling. Jose Aldo teases boxing match with Floyd Mayweather Jr. Former UFC featherweight kingpin Jose Aldo is fresh off the heels of a dominant win in his professional boxing debut, but he's already looking ahead towards a massive potential showdown with Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather, who has continued to take more and more exhibition matches in recent years, has already been linked to a potential boxing match with Nate Diaz under the rise and banner should the Stockton superstar sign there. Now, according to Aldo, he and his team are working on securing a boxing match later this year against Mayweather in Saudi Arabia. He spoke during a recent interview with MMA Fighting, saying, His side has already agreed. My side too. We're now waiting for the promoters to get the deal done. It might be an exhibition on Mayweather's side, but not for me. It's punch to the face like always. He knows that. Aldo has already locked in for a boxing match on the Gamebred Boxing 4 card in April, where he's set to compete against Jeremy Stevens in a rematch of their 2018 showdown that saw Aldo pick up a spectacular TKO victory. If Aldo and Mayweather are booked to fight one another, who do you think emerges victorious? Drop your predictions in the comments section below. And now for our breaking news story of the day. Anthony Smith suggests changes to weight classes. It's no secret that fans and fighters have all been clamoring for a 165-pound division in the UFC for quite some time. With the lightweight division being capped at 155 pounds and the welterweight division being capped at 170 pounds, fighters like Kevin Lee have been left in a sort of no-man's land. Lee notoriously struggled to find a fit at either weight class and ultimately signed with Eagle FC thanks to the promotion's 165-pound division. In addition, for fighters like Habib Nurmagomedov, who made 155 but would have benefited from a 165-pound division, the idea has continued to be a hot topic. The weight light heavyweight Anthony Smith sees things. In addition to a 165-pound weight class, the UFC would benefit from a handful of changes. I'd like to see a couple new weight divisions. I, I wouldn't be so stuck on 160, 165, but if you were to do, you know, like a 165, 175, 185, 95, 95. yeah, I, I would, I'd like to see a couple new weight divisions, but if I had to just pick one, I'd love to see no weight, no <sighs> weight cap on heavyweight. We cut out a, a pretty big chunk of guys. While there are super heavyweights outside of the UFC that would likely sign with the promotion, removing the weight cap on heavyweight would give plenty of fighters the opportunity to compete without having to cut weight. Fighters like Chris Barnett and Justin Taffa, for example, both cut weight to make heavyweight. What do you think? Sound off below. Thank you so much for joining us today. What do you make of what's going on in the fight world? Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all the latest news from the MMA Zone. See you next time.